former Empire actor Jesse Smollett is facing six new charges of disorderly conduct. The development comes almost a year after prosecutors made the controversial decision to drop multiple felony counts against Smollett. In June, a judge ruled that Cook County State's attorney Kim Fox mishandled the case and ordered a special prosecutor to investigate. That prosecutor says that Smollett was lying to Chicago police officers when he claimed that he was the victim of a hate crime attack. Smollett is expected to appear in court on February 24th. President Trump congratulates Attorney General Bill Barr for, quote, taking charge of the Roger Stone case. This comes a day after four federal prosecutors withdrew from Roger Stone's case after top Justice Department officials overruled their sentence recommendation, calling it too harsh. Stone, a longtime confidant on President Trump, was convicted last year of lying to Congress, witness tampering, and obstructing the House investigation into whether the Trump campaign coordinated with Russia. Prosecutors originally told a federal judge that Stone should serve seven to nine years in prison. But then the president expressed his outrage on Twitter. Hours later, Justice Department leaders intervened. Nearly 200 people are ending a two week quarantine at a South California military base where they have been living since flying out of China in the wake of the coronavirus outbreak.